Hey guys, this is David Danforth, your instructor for typography. Uh, I know this is a little late getting up. Uh, we've been having fun with Blackboard lately, getting everything uh, up to date. So this is kind of your orientation and mixed with your first project assignment, which is creating a animal using just the letters uh, that spell out that animal's name. And I'll kind of get you guys set up and start on how to do that. First things first is uh, once you get into your typography class, uh, make sure uh, you look over the syllabus. So just click on the syllabus tab and that'll open up the syllabus and you guys can just kind of read through that. Hopefully you guys have ordered your uh, textbook. It's thinking with type. And you have your projects this semester. And you're going to have readings and discussion board. Uh, throughout the semester. Those are worth 25 points. Anywhere from 20 to 25 points each. And you kind of come down, make sure, you know, if you're not doing too well in the class, uh, April 12th is the last time that you can withdraw from a course and get a W. Uh, but please let me know if you're going to withdraw. There might be something we can do. Uh, I'd hate to see students uh, withdraw without talking to me first. And there's another copy of the syllabus, which I will delete. But Read through that. Next little button over here is your projects. And you have the different projects you're going to do this semester. And if you want to know more about the projects, you can click the name of the project itself. <coughs> Excuse me. And you'll find out this is due uh, February 5th, so you guys got some time to do this. Uh, everything for my online courses is due on Sunday, so it kind of gives you the weekend to get it done. And if uh, when you go to hand something in uh, on this page where you see the assignment file, it's kind of like using email. Uh, you can type me a little message if you want to. That's up to you. Then if you click Browse My Computer and you know go to the folder where you might have uh, saved it. So if you go under your folder and you look at Documents, and it really depends where you saved it. And let's say it's uh, this file right here, which are some t-shirt designs. I'd click open and then make sure to hit the submit button. What this will do is it'll upload your file. Uh, everything in this course you're going to be doing in either Illustrator and InDesign, but mainly just in uh, Illustrator. So you just go find the file, hit submit, and it uploads it so I can grade it. These should be really small documents, so you won't have uh, to worry about document size. So just as another little reminder, uh, you click on it. You go browse my computer like you're sending an email attachment. Click on the file you want to upload. Open. And remember to scroll down, and you have to click the submit button. If you, just, if you don't do that, nothing is submitted. All right? I have some lecture material up here. Uh, different. This is a huge zipped file. So if you want to just download it to your computer and then open it, it has lots of good information in there. Go ahead and do that. Discussions. Now, you'll see uh, that the first week class, a lot of you guys have already commented. That's cool. Uh, this why should you care about typography uh, you go look at this infographic and comment on this you can get this done during the first month so this isn't a really deadline serious uh, the first graded uh, ones is like the first week of class you get 10 points and then this one is famous typographers uh, this is worth 20 points and there's a due date it's due on Monday and you're going to be looking up some of the famous, the earliest typographers that kind of started it all and just kind of tell me about who these people are. A couple sentences each, that's fine. So if you click on it, it'll open up and you'll see nothing and you'll freak out. Don't worry about it. All you have to do is create a thread. So once you create this thread, you say Dave and you can type up. Uh, Armand is famous because of these. How's 
was my typing. Thanks. And blah, 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 blah. So you just type up some, a couple sentences for each one, and then you'd hit submit. And then you'll see that your thread is there. So just discussion board. And most of you guys, I think, have gotten this because you've all posted. So just a reminder if you guys are having trouble with it. Uh, some different tools. You can uh, look at these different tools. If you want to use them, that's great. Um, that's, um, these are all for you. There's some help here, uh, different things. My grades, you click on that and you can find out what your current grades are. And this is also a great place to find out whether or not your project was uploaded correctly. Uh, contact me if you want. Study guide, but you guys can't see this. Uh, that'll be up later in the semester. So, <clears throat> this first project is uh, using Illustrator to design a animal. So what I'll do is I'll open up Illustrator. I already have it open. And you want to create a new document. Make sure it's 10 by 10. A lot of times when Illustrator first uh, comes up, you'll see it's in either pixels or points like that. So just change it to inches. And all you do is type in 10 inches, tab 10 inches, and then hit return. And I'll open up a 10 by 10 document. Now for this example, I'm just going to use owl. And the letters of owl, O-W-L. So grab your type tool and find a, a font that's really simple. Don't go crazy with the font. Don't go to DA fonts and find this really, you know, you want something that's really common. It's just easier to design that way. So I'm gonna go to Palatino, famous typographer, and I'm gonna, first I'm gonna uh, organize this a little bit. Uh, the layers palette, you know, you can drag it off over here and create a new layer. And so on this layer, I'm gonna call, I just double click this and I'm call this eyes. Uh, I like everything on their different layers. It's easier to lock and organize and find things. So I'm going to type the letter O. So I'm going to start making the I. And you have to use just the letters of that animal. So if you're doing like an owl, it's O-W-L. If you're doing a dog, it's only D-O-G. So that's the only letters you can use are the letters of that animal. And I don't want you guys to really manipulate these letters too much. You can increase the size and that's about it. Uh, I don't want you guys doing some crazy stuff like this and transforming them and making them all skinny. That destroys a font and it's not right. So don't do that. But you can increase and decrease the size. You can, I'm going to right click. You can transform it by rotating and reflecting. Okay, so that's fine. So I've got this owl. And to make sure you're transforming this correctly, hold down your shift button while grabbing one of these little uh, points here. Those are anchor points, just drag that down. So I have an O. Now I want to make a copy of this O. What I do is I hold down the Option or Alt key on the keyboard. I click and I start to drag it. And if you hold down the Shift at the same time, you can't move it up or down. It kind of locks into place. So that keeps it kind of where it should be. And I let go. So those are the two eyes. And I want make maybe the little pupil so I do the same thing I hold down the option key and this time I'm just going to drag it down and then I'm going to make it a little smaller and then move it on up here okay now I got this little sucker same thing option move that over here and you've got your two eyes okay now you guys can use two colors in this so if that's either like black and another color or two shades of brown or something like that. So you can use two colors. So if you wanted to make the eyes, I don't know, evil, you can uh, double click this little foreground color and make it red. So you can just double click that, make that red. Okay. Whoops, I did the wrong one. Okay, well you could get crazy with it if you wanted to. I'm hitting Command Z to undo those. So you have your two eyes. 
Now let's say you want to do like um, a little beak. Create a new layer. Ah, see, look, the eyes are on a different layer. That's okay. I can just call that one eyes. And then trash that one. Uh, once I've got my eyes done, I'm going to create a new layer. And double click it, call this one. Beak, not break. And I always lock this. That way, if I'm like using my selection tool, I can't select anything. I can't delete it by accident. So I just lock a layer if I'm not using it. And I'm on this beak layer. So uh, I'm going to type uh, the letter L. And this time I'm going to use a capital. And I'll make it a little bit bigger. Maybe kind of rotate it. And I'm going to put it like right here. Okay. And what's cool about fonts and letters is a lot, of, you know, you got to think past that, oh, you know, this letter is only used for, you know, creating words. Letters are just shapes, like anything else. It's just a shape. So you got to kind of look at it a little differently. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold down my option key again. And I'm going to make a copy of it. Right click. And I'm going to reflect it. And I hit OK. And then I can start moving these around a little bit. And you can see, make like a cool little beak. I know it doesn't really look exactly like a beak, but that's OK. And you can see how you can slowly start building the face of the owl. Now, if you guys want, you can use, uh, I don't want you to use anything but text on this. But I've had students before like, OK, you know, what about a little thing for the owl or whatever animal? Like if you wanted to make a tree branch for the owl to sit on, you could. So, you know, maybe you get this L here and you'd make it come off the page. And then you just make copies of it. And have it coming across. I'm just holding down the shift to make sure everything's lined up. And you could rotate that one and like maybe rotate it 100 degrees and bring it up here so it looks kind of like tree branches. I don't know, have some fun. <clears throat> this is really just being about, uh, about being creative and looking at type in a different way. So uh, have some fun with this. And you know, you can do mythical creatures, dragons, whatever you want. So just go to that uh, website where uh, it has a Bimbo's website. Bembo and that'll bring up this little site here and it downloads it, opens up the gates. See, little monkey there. This is where you guys should get your inspiration. And you see how they're using just the letters in the name of the animal. <clears throat> now if you, any of you guys are really good at Flash, feel free, but this one doesn't have to be animated. See there's the one they did with the monkey. I think this just helps uh, students realize that typography uh, and letter and letter forms uh, sometimes you know you can do different things with letters and you can make shapes and patterns and all sorts of kind of fun stuff and kind of breaks that thinking that the only thing letters are good for is type and words. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks.